Morning, guys. Got a mammogram today. Yeah. It's not going to be nice. But I have some time. But I have some time. In, uh, oh, this looks like a little bit of a British clip. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I didn't watch this series, so the imagery is pretty good. And uh, the man who's speaking, well, he speaks a lot of sense. So I'm going to play it. But before I do, I just want to tell you my waking thought. All right? Remember, I always pray my thoughts are of God. They are from God and they are a blessing and a fruit of the Spirit of the Son and daughters of God. We're in, right? We're in. Yeah, you don't recognise us, no. You don't recognise us, no. You don't recognise us. So, enough of the accent. So my waking thought was this. You'd only just need to do a little bit of good hard thinking and research Mr. Truther or Mrs. Truther to realise that although this is smart, what this man says, and I don't know when he said it, he sounds like it was a long time ago. It's shaking my head, it's a compilation. But I just like what I'm hearing in the first two minutes. So I'm going to record it and put it up. Just hopefully short. When he stops, I'll stop. No matter how smart he sounds, he ain't smart as God. And the words that he gives me to tell you, right? The words are, he says, she says. To, some would say opposing forces but it's not a fear competition is it no that's why I mock them that's why they mock us because they know that God's not mocked so you wouldn't take much like I said just to look at the numbers on the thumbnails and have a wee listen to the last if you are strapped for time because this isn't urgent enough the last two minutes of the videos that have time stamps and the ones they relate to just watch the last two minutes and think look how she just cuts off uh, nothing's planned Nothing's programmed. Just seems sporadic. Seems erratic. Seems like some sort of accident, coincidence, mistake. Well, there are no accidents, coincidences, or mistakes. And every time I cut off, whether it be because my phone has not enough memory, or because I'm really tired and I'm in a rush, it doesn't matter. The Lord works everything I do for God and the good is to give you the word of God and it's a word from a number from the timestamp minus one from what YouTube put on it it's what comes up in my gallery so just try that exercise and realize that the Lord wants to give you bread and meat not baby's milk And that he's in control and every man is a liar and that even though this is smart and it might shift you a little it will never get you on that narrow path nothing will unless you are led and taught by the Holy Spirit so before I play it I'm going to jug off 
because we have to prepare our practical needs here because we're in the world but we're not of the world I think I've got enough milk praise the Lord is there enough milk praise the Lord yellow got away and came back Every time I think I can trust him, I don't put him on the lead, he takes off. Don't you, Yellow? Yes. But do I keep giving him a long lead? Yes, in the hope that one day Yellow will come when he's cold and he's the harvest. And it's not a hope that will come to nothing because that's not who the Lord, the Lord God is. And that's not who love is. Move over, please. Move over, Michael. Love, hopes. Always hopes. Never fails to hope. Have a look at that wonderful, wonderful time stamp. Before the one fifty-five, five. What are the chances? Three fives. One, two, three. Six. Oh no, it's three. I thought that was a perfect number. So, what is the perfect number? I don't know what God's number is. Because there's not much that they haven't pretended to steal, but three is His number. I want a good picture for this, so I'm going to turn the lights off. It's a shame. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully it's just short. In the past, we can say we go. that uh, all revolutions have essentially aimed at changing uh, the environment in order to change the individual. I mean, there's been the... Uh, political revolution, the economic revolution, uh, in the time of the Reformation, the religious revolution, uh, all these uh, aimed, as I say, not directly at the human being, but at his surroundings, so that by modifying the surroundings you did achieve, a, in, at one remove, a, an effect upon the human being. Today, uh, we are faced, I think, with the approach of what may be called the ultimate revolution, the final revolution, where a man can act directly on the mind body of his fellows. Well, needless to say, some kind of direct action on human mind bodies has been going on since the beginning of time. Uh, but this has generally been uh, of a violent nature. The, Techniques of terrorism have been known from time immemorial, and uh, people have employed them with more or less uh, ingenuity, sometimes with uh, the utmost crudity, sometimes with a, a good deal of skill inquire, uh, acquired uh, by a process of trial and error, finding out what the best ways of uh, using torture, imprisonment, uh, constraints of various kinds. Uh, but uh, as um, I think it was Metternich said uh, many years ago, uh, you can do everything with bayonets except sit on them. Uh, if you are going to control any population for any length of time, you must have some measure of consent. It's exceedingly difficult to see uh, how pure terrorism can function indefinitely. It can function for a fairly long time, but I think uh, Sooner or later, you have to bring in an element of persuasion, an element of, of getting people to consent to what is happening to them. 
Well, it seems to me that the, the nature of the ultimate revolution with which we are now faced is precisely this, uh, that we are in process of developing a whole series of techniques which uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy, who have always existed and presumably always will exist, uh, to uh, get people actually to love their servitude. Uh, th this is the, seems to me, the, the ultimate uh, in malevolent revolution, shall we say. And uh, this, is a, this is a problem which uh, has interested me for many years and about which I wrote uh, 30 years ago a, a fable, The Brave New World, which uh, is uh, essentially the account of a society making use of all the devices at that time available and some of the devices which uh, um, I imagined to be possible uh, making use of them in order to first of all to standardize the population to iron out uh, inconvenient human dis uh, uh, differences uh, to create uh, so to say mass-produced uh, models of human beings arranged uh, in some kind of a scientific uh, car. Oh Lord. I didn't know this was going to be what it is. Um, Rightio, I'm going to bring the bed. Find my book. Oh no. I know it's in pencil, but that was the date. My pen's run out all the time. Oh, I'll show you that's that when it was. 15th. This word. Next time I wrote, I think it was the 20th, because I was a bit yeah, gobsmacked. Very gobsmacked. Today's Thursday. I know it was a week ago, exactly, because I went in to see Gary and I told him. And he, I'm sorry. When he heard it, he said, yeah, I know. And then rattled off a whole lot of things that he'd seen on the internet. Like it compared to the word of God. What does it say about prophecy? Or to standardize the population, to iron out uh, inconvenient human dis uh, uh, differences, uh, to create, uh, so to say, mass-produced uh, models of human beings arranged uh, in some kind of a scientific uh, caste system. Cast system. Here we go. They're ready. They're ready to label and number them now. The small feet brigade. I had been dreaming. Right, this is me. But I woke thinking of Rhea. Rhea is one of the three puppies that were born on Christmas Day when the Lord said he was unwrapping a surprise that he had already wrapped up in November and the date is in my box. I've testified about it, about the three girls and the sacrifice that I was making out of obedience of yellow, that's the harvest. That there would be three girls, no boys, hence the sacrifice. He didn't say three, he said they would be all girls. 
anyway. Two of them almost looked like twins, but I could see a difference, and I knew I had to call one tribute. One was called Rhea. The first sign of which one was tribute was the fact that she was born with four white feet, and the Lord quickened to me the scripture. It was about the harvest. Your feet shod with the gospel of truth. Now Rhea had two white socks. So the difference between feet and socks. Socks are long. So the word I woke with was this. They are ready. They are ready. They are ready to label and number them now. The small feet brigade. That's the phrase. The small feet brigade. I had been dreaming but I woke thinking of Rhea. One of the two Shih Tzus born to glory in yellow. She had two feet. Now, yesterday I went into town and I met with Rhea's mum at the groomers. Rhea's family it's, um, 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 has a Māori, it's lovely. Her name is Grace. She's the one that had the icon that's like cartoon of a, a woman, sexy woman with a scorpion tail. That's Grace. His name is Joshua. Okay, this is all important. Because I knew that they were hunting me, but the Lord has flipped it. His name is Joshua. And her name is Grace. The Lord has flipped it. I met them at Mitre 10 and we, they have three children, two really rebunctious boys, beautiful kids. There's a playground at Mitre 10, we had coffee. I testified, because I know their truth is and I know they don't be. I told them the truth. He is, I believe, Christian and she is not. But I told them both the truth. I summarised everything and they listened. He did. He listened. I took a video of Tribute in Yellow playing after we picked up from there we went to the beach, then we picked up Rhea from the groomers. I have a video of Rhea and Tribute playing. They are different, but they are the same. So Rhea has two long socks. It might be important for me to just upload that video because now it's a testimony. So, two puppies that were similar but different, born to glory in yellow, they're called solids. But, even though they have markings, they're still called solids. Mm. Rhea had long socks, which you will see. So, I had a dream, and as I woke, I was thinking of Rhea, and the Lord had given me the word, the small feet brigade. Thinking of Rhea, my two shih tzus, whom the Lord has strengthened this testimony because I saw Rhea yesterday, born of glory in yellow. Now she had two feet. Remember I said the first sign that I felt that tribute that I chose of the two was the one was because she had four socks or four white feet. Rhea had two feet and they were big long socks was that them was that the small feet brigade I asked to the Lord and I knew no it wasn't it was tribute she had small feet I called Rhea's socks she had small feet I had a sense 
of dread that she was counted and labelled that tribute was counted and labelled remember they are ready they are ready to label and number them now the small feet brigade now I had a sense of dread that tribute was counted and labelled but then the Lord had it dawn on me that it was feet feet not markings I'm talking about white markings of the dog it's feet literally small feet what comes to mind when you think of small feet then pray and ask the Lord if it's correct because I'm not going to interpret this literally small feet genetic groupings of people with small feet standardize the population to iron out uh, uh, inconvenient human dis uh, uh, differences uh, to create uh, so to say mass-produced uh, models of human beings arranged uh, in some kind of a scientific uh, caste system genetic groupings of people with small feet isolating the gene now that's what they're doing now one week ago today the label the number allocated that's all you are now in the number not even an army, a brigade. Each one with a number. Because and only because your genes have a genetic code for small feet. They are reading genes. Now, as I am writing this, I am reminded. I scribed a word where the truth was in the spelling. I scribed a word where the truth was in the spelling. Now God made sure I recognized this is back in 2018. It's one of my first 20 videos on YouTube I'd written them five months prior most of them and the Lord had me read them all out in succession to catch up at the end of 2018 now this was a word where the truth was in the spelling God made sure I recognized this as I read it on YouTube he had me say James And it was in the context that sounded like something someone wears. But I had to spell it out. Genes. G-E-N-E-S. So it was clear. So, you see, you wear a number that is allocated to you because you have genetic code for small feet the small feet brigade is formed they have the numbers to do it it is small the size of a brigade why why a brigade how big is a brigade tried to Google Brigade and Google told me I needed some sort of password to get in but eventually I looked it up it's between 
3,000, 5,000, can be as much as 12,000. I'm going to do a link part two and there's a video of Tribute and Rhea. Pay attention to their feet. I look at dog genetics for a reason. I observe them.